why you know i don't know why i'm doing this <laughs> sorry for that so let's get started with another video where we will understand linux again okay? and today in this video i'm going to explain to you what is a file descriptor and this is something which is really great amazing because in linux or unix like operating system everything is a file but we don't understand what is file because when we think about some file we just think like some you know txt file or some you know movie file but files are more than just this again okay? so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this directory code yt and i have this file here file.c which is the c program again okay? so let's just get this out so as you can see in this c program i'm just opening a file and then just closing this file and this file doesn't exist okay so there is no file like hello.txt so what this function fopen will do is it will create a new file hello.txt uh, and in the, my previous video i explained like how it's going to use some system call which are some functions provided by some not some kernel our kernel which are some special functions okay but in this video what we are going to do we are going to open this file and we are going to close this file and so let me compile this program and let's just run this program okay so as you can see we got this file hello.txt and uh, that's it that's cool but if i s trace it now s trace is a program to trace all the system calls i mean the functions which we are running which is provided by the kernel okay which is system call uh, you can watch my previous video okay i'm not going to explain everything in every video so let's press enter and see all the system calls so most of the system calls are something which is very necessary for all the binary to run but the system call which we made is this system call which is open ad okay so this in this system call we opened this file hello.txt now the thing is if we read the man page if i go to some another tab and read the man page of open ad so we can see that in the return value it says that on success open open it or create it will return a new file descriptor now in case if you don't know what open it is it's just a simple okay it's a very long manual i, I want to go on the top let's use some vim key bindings so it says that it opens a file which is existing or it possibly create a new file so in our case it created uh, the new file okay and its return value is basically an integer so what is file descriptor let's read the wikipedia because wikipedia tells the truth just kidding <laughs> it's so funny okay so the thing is like uh, a file descriptor is basically an integer okay what is this integer when we open some file via some process so for example when we you know run this uh, a dot out so let's just uh, run this uh, open this file.txt and uh, you know run an unlimited while loop okay just unlimited means infinite so let's compile this file.c and uh, you know some program let's give it a name program and if i do ls here you can see this is our executable and if i run this program and press enter so the while loop is running and if i open this uh, new window and type ps aux and grab program so this is okay it's so it's looking very ugly okay so this is the pro okay it's still very look let me make it little bit small or wait okay that's cool so again psox program so this is the program which are we are running all right and this is the process id so we are running this process and this is the process id so this process whatever the files we open via using this process okay the process is going to not process actually the kernel is going to assign an integer value to the file which we are opening via this process all right so for example we open this file hello.txt so it assigned an integer to this process and where is that s trace response i think i removed it so let's just close this window let's just close this program and s trace the program again so uh, it's the program let's just run this so here you can see we opened the file and this is the while loop is running so it just stopped there is no system call happening here so here the return value is free okay so we we just read that you know here the return value is a new file descriptor and i told you that file descriptor is just an integer which is assigned by the process uh, to a file which we open all right so we opened this file hello.txt and our kernel assigned this number three to this file and this is called file descriptor basically file descriptor is something which described the file and we opened hello.txt so this number integer three is describing a file so basically a file descriptor is just an integer number how simple is that 
now the question which comes in my brain is why it's three why it's not zero why it's not one or two all right i mean why it's arbitrary like why it's three okay that's the question and the reason is that in linux the zero is assigned to standard input file the one is import uh, assigned to you know standard output and two is for standard error so these three values are already assigned so every time when a process opens some file it assigned the value three and if i open two files if i you know open file.c again and if i open a, you know another file so hello2 all right and uh, let's just change the variable here fp2 and let's just not close it who who cares okay so uh file.c and just run it and a dot out so let's express it so here you can see that we open two files and here i got three and here i got four so the numbering start when we open some file via you know the process the numbering start a uh, numbering what's the word okay so it start with three and four because one uh, zero one two is already assigned now you might wonder wait a second standard output is it a file i mean it's a it's a file descriptor it means it have to be a file and it's actually true if i go into this dev directory and if you do ls and if you try to find here there is these three files all right these three files which is standard output standard input and standard error and if you do you know ls hyphen l and std ashtray so you can see that this is a link file okay it's a link to some you know some process fdi I, like this is some kind of file descriptor integer link but it's a file okay it's a link file this is the whole idea which i'm trying to explain and let me show you something really cool so if i echo something la 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 into some you know uh, some file or not file let's just call it song.txt okay if i just uh, you know redirect the la 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 into some you know file so what we are doing is we are writing this bytes into this txt file and if i press enter there is no output there is no output but if i go into dev and if i do echo um you know hunger games la 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 and if i just redirect it into this std out file all right so we are inside the dev so you know std output which is a link file basically and if i press enter we got the output okay we got the output so every time when we run some command like ls or anything basically the program writes the data into this std out file and let me show you now something really awesome which will you know connect all the story so if you read this man page again which is a syscall write syscall so write write to a file descriptor and in my last video i showed you like how when we print something via printf it runs right from the inside okay so if i go to you know uh, this file and just write a hello.c to include stdi.h and print mean so you know print f and when when i write like something like hello and uh, let's just close it i think that's it this is gcc hello.c and run it so let's s trace it s trace is like shellock trace okay so here you can see the system call which we made which is a write system call and write wrote in the one because if we read the man page you can see that uh, here the first argument is an integer which is a file descriptor okay so again file descriptor and here the file descriptor is one and if you look here the one is actually std out which is the file which i just showed you inside the dev like dev which is a link file actually okay so we can use write uh, system call to write at some file descriptor okay well, just ignore this thing so we are writing into one file descriptor so we can also like for example if we want to write some file which which is opened by us like for example we opened at hello.txt so we have to write three here but if you just want to print something out on the you know on your command line then we just write one for standard output or if you want to give error then two or you know some input standard input is also you know uh, a file in the, in reality so when we give input to some program okay so for example when we run read command it's taking input it's basically you know running this uh, write with zero because zero is for standard input so isn't that cool like the thing is that everything in linux and unix uh, is file and what we do is we open the file and we get this file descriptor for that file and we use read and write 
kernel syst calls to write into that file and read into that file and in future we will get more deep we will learn like how sockets work and how everything work in linux and we will realize that everything is file okay everything is file and we can use read and write just two simple sys calls to read from that file and write from that call like the file okay so that's it for this video i don't want to you know make long videos because you know you guys have um you don't have patience okay so 